Want to learn more about the dynamics between men and women? Then check out the multi-part video series I have explaining the masculine and feminine energies. Access the link and watch it now. In this video, I'm going to ask you to have some level or higher level of respect for yourself because I'm talking about uh, the fact that as a man, if you are divine masculine, if you are an important man, if you view yourself as someone who has high quality, high value, and all of these things, I'm going to ask you to stop having sex with no condom with girls who do not deserve that, right? Now, um, this is very important. It's very important because as men, we're growing up in this world without father figures, without big brothers who have morals, um, uh, values, and the highest level of respect for themselves. So you don't actually hear this stuff because years ago, I remember I had to hear this from one of my friends. He said, yo, stop doing that. Because what I would do, you know, not to be too graphic, is I would usually dip a bit without any protection. And then I would get the protection after, you know, it goes up hard, strong, whatever, and all of those things. And my friend said, yo, stop doing that. Now, he was just saying stop doing it because you're putting yourself at risk of babies and pregnancy, uh, babies and diseases and stuff like that. But I would actually go further as to say, the reason why you should stop doing that is even more, it's, it's more than that, just that stuff. It's a representation of the self-respect that you have for yourself. Now, arguably, you could actually say if this is the case, you shouldn't actually be intimate with the girl anyway. But let's just assume that you guys are still going to do that and use protection because that's available to us today. A lot of men just do it with no condom and they do not care. And men that are on their journey of semen retention, no fab, or just building yourself as a man, I want you to view you, your skin, your essence, everything about you as so important that you're not just pouring it out. Now, the thing, um, the thing is, yeah, as I said, no one tells us to have control. But the thing that I like about the journey of no fab and semen retention is that you learn the value of your seed. You're learning the value of it because you're feeling the difference it makes when it's in you and when it's out. And when it's out, you're losing energy. And if it's, if you've just lost life energy, because that's where it is, it literally can create a child, right? It can create a being. If it's that important, right? Um, should you just be giving that away to just any girl? I would argue you shouldn't be doing that. So let's get into it, right? I'm going to give you a few reasons why I believe that you should stop doing this and why it's, it's very important for your mental. Now, first of all, it's all about discipline. So if you're a guy who just ends up getting with these chicks, you could meet a girl first date, meet her from Tinder or whatever, <coughs> excuse me, and you're hooking up with her with no Jimmy, uh, that's what we call it where I'm from, uh, but no protection no hard hat, whatever you call it. Um, and you're doing that because, oh, it feels nice. You're operating like a girl. You know what I found? Girls are so easily convinced. They're not even convinced. They're just like, you don't even have to convince a girl these days, most of them, to have sex with them with no condom. Like it's actually pretty easy. No girl objects. The only girls I've realized who do object are the girls who have been pregnant before or have caught something before. But apart from that, usually a girl will just be like, oh yeah, just do it. They don't mind. In fact, if you get the Jimmy, if you get, yeah, that's what I'm going to call it because I don't want to say certain words because YouTube might ban the video or they don't push it or whatever. So I'll say these words. But if you don't get it, um, get protection, they'll just let you slip in but if you go to grab the protection we all know i think as men um they go oh no 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 that hasn't happened to me for years but it used to happen to me you know when i was younger when i was a kid and stuff like that so i know that happens now um what i'm saying is many women are down to do it and it's really because it feels better to them and it's also in the moment it just feels better so when you as a man say oh i just want to do that too because it feels better you're conducting yourself like a woman you're like a girl you're getting you're being controlled by your emotions by your feelings by sensations men aren't like that you do what's right you do what's logical you do what makes sense and we don't say makes sense as in sensation really we mean what makes logic 
what makes logic is what you do. So you go and you grab that thing, and you rip open the pack and you do it. Why? Because that's logical to do. You don't say, well, it feels good. No, that's how women conduct themselves. And that's why so many of them are okay um, doing it with no protection. It just feels good. And then, and then you know what's funny? They'll panic after. You know, I've been in instances where that happens and I realized it wasn't their fault, it was mine because as a man, I was supposed to say no. Now, the second thing is, this is about self-respect. Now, why do I say this? Um, <clears throat> view that substance that comes out as so powerful and important and divine and special that she needs to work for it to for that stuff to go inside of her midsection, right? For you to take that out of your body and then put it into her body, she's gonna need to work for that. And what I mean work for that, what I mean is, um, you know, being worth that, right? Now, any woman who is the type of woman who is divine feminine of the highest level of respect, self-respect for herself, would never disagree with this. Do you know why? Because those women want a man with high standards too. And if she feels like, oh yeah, just any woman can do things with you, um, she's not gonna have respect for that. So you have to ask yourself, if you're just doing that to every girl, how much do you value that essence that within you? Because you give it to every girl and you see these guys uh, almost bragging about doing it. And I'm like, you just, you know what? Any, any girl can have your cum inside of her. Nah, I view my cum as special. But you might not think this until you go on some sort of um, celibacy or abstinence, semen retention and so on. You might just go, ah, nah, you know, just do it. Nah, the way I see it is that come inside of me, I, I view it as special. So I don't want it just inside of any girl's womb. I don't want that. No, it feels, I don't feel like that's the highest level of respect for myself. Now, the third thing is, um, this one is very important, but if she does it with everyone, right and she just lets anyone do it with no protection then that's a sure sign that, that she's also doing it with everyone else if she does it with you on the first second whatever day and you don't have any speak talk about it you don't mention it or anything like that then she will obviously let everyone do that too which is sign which is a signal that she doesn't have the high level of respect that i was talking about in the previous point and there's obviously a threat of um diseases with that type of person uh it's interesting because the younger guy let's say you're a guy that's 18 you're more likely to listen to this and just disregard it but really this message is for you more than the older guys because older guys are more likely to know and understand what i'm saying a bit more if they don't think like that uh, at least it's a reminder for them they're like yeah i get it but the younger guy is more likely to be a bit risky but really is, uh, and he's not likely to listen to this message, but it's really for him. Um, but yeah, if she does it with everyone, if she does it with you, then it means she does it with everyone else. Now, the last thing um, is about the story. Uh, the last thing is about the value of your seed. So I kind of did touch on that before, right? But the value of your seed is extremely high. Um, when you go on a journey of some sort of celibacy or abstinence you understand this but if a girl tries to you know because a lot of them do this they'll talk about consent <laughs> you know girls you know you do this so if you're watching comment down below and don't tell a lie the truth is women will push you into doing it despite the fact that they are the ones that always talk about consent 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 women always talk about consent but in my experience women are very pressuring when it comes to doing it with no condom so it's it's crazy because they kind of don't care about your consent but they will really push for it and they'll even push you inside of them you know it's a bit crazy but i want you to stand up for yourself and don't do it you know stop letting a woman dictate what she wants to do with you because then you're going to be shocked that she doesn't respect your leadership because you let her lead you know you're letting your down there think for up here and that's not thinking so if you don't want to do it don't do it don't let your feelings push you into doing it don't let her push you into doing it uh stand up for yourself and say no you don't have to verbally say no just don't do it just be like no i'm not gonna do that because blah 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 Oh, you don't really have to do that. You just, because you, that's a bit too serious the way I said it. 
But I'll say, no, no, just, just take a second to grab it. Look, boom, see, one second, done. Done, easy. But if you don't want to do it, stand up for yourself and don't do it because the value of that essence should not just be given to everyone. Um, and it's really what it represents to your mind. Now, I want to know what you think. So comment down below, let rumors know. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Want to learn more about the dynamics between men and women? Then check out the multi-part video series I have explaining the masculine and feminine energies. Access the link and watch it now.